Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, I'm Gavin Gidry, creative director at Spotify, and I'm so excited to be here at Vimeo Outside the Frame to talk about the road to relevant video content. And so I know you all want to create video content that people actually want to see. That's why you're here, I'm sure. So here's how we'll accomplish that. Um, might be a bit, of, a bit of a surprise, but we're actually going to talk about influencers first. Then that road is going to swerve through community. Um, and then we'll arrive at our destination of win-win video content. Uh, so first, uh, this is me. I'm Gavin. Um, I've really never been much of a marketing guy, honestly, or controlled influencer budgets. Um, I actually started as a photo video creator. Then I went on to work at advertising agencies with the goal to get brands to think more like creators because creators just make the best content. Um, and now I have the pleasure of leading creative for the Spotify for podcasters brand, which is the all in one tool for creators to talk and express themselves and tell stories where the world listens, which is Spotify, of course, but all through the medium of podcasting. So um, first on our road to relevant video content, we'll talk influencers. So as I'm sure um, a lot of you in this room know, no surprise, people trust people more than they do brands. 49% uh, of consumers actually rely on influencer recommendations these days for their purchasing decisions. And algorithms are really responding to that. So social media platforms are now general creator havens. So if you see Instagram, what they're doing these days, they're really relying on entertaining video content and creators with large audiences to, uh, to really drive consumption time on their platform. Twitter, now X, whatever you want to call it, is really banking on creator subscriptions. Um, and then next, as I'm sure my social media marketers know, branded content is really deprioritized in favor of creator content now. Organic social is really a thing of the past. Brands can no longer just post content and hope that their audiences that they built on these platforms will actually see it. They either need a massive spend or they need to cross collaborate or pay to collaborate with a creator to actually get their content seen. So really what we're seeing is brands ability to impact audiences is going down while creators ability to impact audiences is steadily moving upwards. So what does that mean? That means the road to relevance must go through real people. So that is to say, if you're hoping to reach an online audience and you're not working with a creator or an influencer or just any real people, your campaigns really run the risk of missing the mark, right? It's a potentially not going to be enjoyed, but only tolerated. Um, and that's because when you work with real people who have real followings, they can help you sell your stuff in a more authentic and human way. Um, so before we get too far into this, I don't want to want you to tune out just because you heard me say the word influencer. Um, you know, I know that's a bit of a polarizing term, but I don't mean the sort of like transactional hashtag ad flat tummy tea pushing duck lip selfie influencers, which no disrespect, go get your money. Um, I'm really talking about the creator class of influencers. So these influencers create um, and they create entertaining, informative and relevant video content that impacts and engages audiences over time. So they really use their content as a way to build audience. So think Karen Chang, uh, plant queen, Nicole McLaughlin. You might not know who some of these creators are, but rest assured their audience is just definitely do. And so the good thing about working with creators like this from a fan perspective is that monetizing doesn't feel like buying. It feels like supporting a creator that they love. So you may hear me use the term influencer and creator interchangeably for the for the rest of our time today. Um, but this is the this is a big problem and really what gets in the way of creating this kind of content or creating these kinds of partnerships. There's a massive disconnect between the mindset of you as a marketer and the creator mindset. Um, you as a marketer, you care about OKRs, ROI, and brand perception, as you should. But creators care about authenticity and connection to their community above all else. And they don't always know what marketers want and marketers don't always know what creators want. But this is what it could look like when creators have a say in making content. You really get content that's authentic and connected to their community and it could help you check your marketing boxes as well. This is really the kind of content and campaigns that I've devoted my career to. Um, I help bridge the gap between what marketers want 
and what creators need. Um, so this is actually some of my content that I've been able to help brands and creators come together and make um, over my career. So this all just allows me to come here to tell you that create um, to that creating relevant video content for your brand, reaching the right eyeballs and hitting your OKRs is all possible if you work with real creators. Working with creators helps your brand actually build credibility. And here's what I want you all to understand. The secret sauce to all of this is community. It's all about community and creating an impact through community because relevance really comes through creating consistent impact for a community. So people who know me will hear me say a lot, it's not about chasing cultural relevance, it's about earning community relevance. And so I know community can be a broad term, so I just wanna give three steps on how to create impact through community. First, you wanna get vulnerable, Next, you want to collaborate well with influencers. And third, we want, obviously, we're here at Vimeo outside the frame. We want to use video. So sometimes people can be surprised that the first step to creating impact is actually getting vulnerable because vulnerability is not like a marketing metric or a business tactic. It's more of a soft skill. Step one is to get vulnerable and really show that your brand is human. So this is actually a matrix for how to be an impactful leader by an author named Andy Crouch. Um, really what you have is on the Y axis, you have authority on the X axis, you have vulnerability. Um, and the goal is always to move up into the right um, and leading your teams or company to flourishing. Um, so I think that we can actually apply this to brands, right? Because brands have maximum authority. They have all of the resources. They have all of the brand awareness. Um, but when you lack in vulnerability, you end up moving counterclockwise to the left, starting with exploiting. And we all know what it looks like when a brand doesn't open themselves up. They don't ask the community what they want. They just give them things. They just give them content without really asking. And that can end up exploiting a community or exploiting an audience. The goal is to ramp up your vulnerability, actually ask your community or your audience, what do you want? What do you need? And when you, when you use your brand and your resources to provide that, you actually lead them to flourishing. So um, I'm sure that getting vulnerable wasn't what you were expecting to hear when you came to a video conference. So I just want to give a few tips on how to get vulnerable. First, you want to embrace risk because getting vulnerable requires exposure to meaningful risk. So what does that mean for us? It could be risky to do what feels like handing over your carefully curated brand, per, uh, brand persona or brand voice, brand image. But when you hand over the reins with a creator and work with them, they can help you make something better than what you could have imagined before because it's more a little bit more relevant or it resonates better with their audience. Next, you have to get real about your brand and really understand what people really think about your brand. Uh, one of my first advertising clients was Church's Chicken, you know, not your big Nike or Apple or those brands that people really want to work with. And they came to us to create a video series because they wanted to be on par with KFC and Popeyes and things like that. But the issue is that people really saw them as a restaurant that was in lower income neighborhoods. But we actually really leaned into that. There are, you know, rappers who are winning Grammys and government leaders who are now leading local governments that came from lower income areas, too. And they have stories about hanging out at Church's Chicken and they put it in their songs or working at Church's Chicken. And that's a part of their bio and how they got started. So we actually were able to win awards sort of like touring the country and telling those stories, all just being real about what is Church's Chicken and who is our community. Um, lastly, uh, a concept I like to call Anyfy, um, but it's about meeting your community where they are, even if that means adjusting your fidelity, right? So not always like having the highest fidelity content or uh, dumbing down your content and having low fidelity content, but any fidelity, any fi that's going to, uh, that your audience actually responds to. So that's how you can really help make relevant content for them. So um, next you're going to want to collaborate well. And to do that, you really have to understand your audience and go deeper than demographics and understand really what makes your audience a community. So 
uh, Sprite, I worked on Sprite's social AOR for a long time. Um, and they did a great job of going past their demographics and identifying their audience as creators and arbiters of hip hop culture. And so since we knew we had, uh, since we knew we had creators and tastemakers of hip hop in our audience, we asked them to surface, uh, undiscovered musicians who needed Sprite's platform in order to blow up. And we were able to use and work with those creators o- over the next few years as the cornerstone and backbone of our social media marketing. So anytime we showed up or activated, we were working with these undiscovered musicians and it really worked for them and it worked for us as well. Next, you wanna really understand the creator mindset. Uh, cr- the term creators is really broad, but you know the, these could be cr- the comedians, writers, hosts, musicians, even activists. But the thing that binds them all together is that they make content that nourishes audiences. So it's important to know that uh, creators have their own audience, their own style and their own motivation. So uh, creators audience is their number. It's their number one. It's what they spend their blood, sweat and tears curating with their content. Um, so you don't want to ask them to do anything their audience will find inauthentic. Uh, what you really want out of working with a creator is for their fans to become your fans. So seek to understand their audience and what you can offer them through this partnership. Next is style. I think it's a, it could be a bit overlooked um, when working with an influencer, um, but a, the style is a way that a creator talks or the, the way that they create. So don't present a campaign that fits outside their style, but do seek their input on how their content comes to life through uh, through their unique lens. Next is uh, motivation. So I think there's a, a, a bit of a misconception with creators that it's all about the money, right? And But th- that couldn't really be further from the truth. Creators are actually really excited, probably more excited than you are to work with them, to work with these big brands. It's like a feather in their cap or something they're able to say, hey, look, audience, I'm now able to work with these brands. So don't just seek one and done transactional deals with these creators. Seek to build a long-term relationship that these creators can talk about with their audiences over time um, and offer a mutually beneficial partnership that results in creators raising their profile through your partnership. And so how to choose the right creator for your brand. You want to make sure you find a creator with the right niche an engaged audience. You want to make sure that creator is an authentic user of your brand or product. Um, you want to make sure that they have a strong style and POV, uh, but you also want to make sure that they're professional and that they have craft that can elevate your brand. Lastly, use video. So over 200 million people consider themselves as creators, which is an incredible mind blowing stat. Um, but this means that your audience is just a resource of creativity waiting to be unlocked. So you can use video and creator partnerships to do just that. It's the best way to tap into UGC, engage audiences with CTAs and educate in relevant ways. And then that's how we get to win-win video content. So your content may look a little bit different than what you would have otherwise envisioned, but that's really where the magic happens. You're putting creators in the driver's seat and then you're sitting back, embracing the unexpected and letting the authenticity happen. So through this, you can create content that is truly unique and relevant. Not only have you collaborated to create something great that your in-house team or expensive agency couldn't have, but you're speaking directly to people in a way that will resonate. Next, you achieve quality reach. Working with creators comes with a built-in audience that actually want to see the content that you're putting out. So again, you can turn their fans into your fans. And lastly, your content goes from you-centered to community-centered. So content made for the community by the community actually builds trust and it goes beyond just impression spikes. So TLDR on the road to relevance, if you didn't hear anything else I said today, When you prioritize community and build authentic creator relationships, you can create relevant video content. Thank you. Uh, If if you want to hear more, I know I went a little bit quick. Please reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm always down to have a conversation about creativity, creators, marketing, whatever it may be.